Welcome to another DivHunt tutorial. Today we'll dive into custom CSS. If you ever felt that DivHunt lacks certain styling options that you need, or if you want to easily copy and paste styles from tags or classes, this video is here to help you. If you want to include CSS properties that DivHunt doesn't offer, you can easily do so by writing custom CSS. To achieve this, select the tag you want to style, then click on this icon here. Now you'll have the access to the custom CSS for that tag. You can view the styles already applied through DivHunt. And the self-selector represent your chosen tag, meaning anything you type here will apply to it. Let's add some properties. For instance, I'll use the outline property. The great thing about the custom CSS panel is that once you hit the save button, all changes become visible in the builder so you can easily see all the edits that you've made. If you wish to remove certain styles from your tag, it's as simple as selecting the property and deleting it. You can also edit properties set through DivHunt Editor here. What's interesting is that when you return to the Editor panel, any changes made in the Custom CSS panel will be reflected here. Same will happen if I edit properties here and then return to the Custom CSS. The values will also be updated. Let me share one interesting time-saving trick with you. For this example, I'll need to access my Figma file. Here, you can see that the image design differs from the one in my DivHunt project. This one has rounded edges and a shadow. To avoid manually adjustments in the builder, you can enter the dev mode in Figma. Select the layer that contains these properties and simply copy them. Next, I'll head back to the builder and paste these settings onto my tag. Once I hit the save button, my tag will instantly get a rounded edges and a shadow. All of that done in a couple of seconds. For the next example, let's take this button. Let's go and set hover effect to it by setting the text color to be blue and also the border color to be blue. Now, this button has a hover effect. But what if I want to reuse these styles on another button? I could do that by using a class, but creating a class from scratch with the same style properties can be a lot of energy and time consuming. With DivHunt, you can simplify this process. First, add a class. Then, while your tag is selected, go to the custom CSS panel and cut everything, leaving it blank. When I hit the save button, I will be left with a simple link tag without any style properties. Next, select your class and paste everything. In just a few clicks, I've transferred all the styles, including the hover animation, to my class. And even my hover styles are visible in the custom code. And now I can simply reuse all of these styles. I just need to add another tag and set class to it. And all of these styles will be transferred to it. For the next example, let's create a hover animation using selectors. First, I'll add a class to this arrow, then I'll select this link block, set the interaction to hover, and under selectors choose children with classes. And here I can choose the class I added to my arrow. This setup triggers an animation when I hover over the link block, targeting the arrow with the class. Now, I can set the styling, such as transform option, set it to rotate, and set the value of 45 degrees to make the arrow slightly rotate on hover. Testing it out, the animation works perfectly. When I open the custom CSS panel, you can see the instance is added here. I can change these values here and when I hit the save button, everything will work fine. Or even I can add more properties. For example, let's add translate property, set it to 10 pixels and 0 pixels, and this will make my arrow move to the right for 10 pixels. You can see that when I hover over, everything works perfectly. For the last part, let's explore how to reset multiple stylings at once. On this tag, I have various properties that I want to reset. Resetting them individually would be boring and time consuming. A faster approach is to navigate to the custom CSS panel, select all the stylings and simply remove them. Now all the stylings are reset. This method also works for instances and states. If I go to this link block, go to the custom CSS panel and remove this instance here, my hover animation will disappear. Now, let's dive into advanced properties. 
If you have a deeper understanding of how CSS works, you can use more complex code here, unlocking limitless possibilities for CSS styles and selectors. Let me show you one advanced example. Let's add bullet points to these span tags with only using pure CSS. For this method, I will select this div that is wrapping my span tag and open custom CSS panel. Firstly, I need to target my span inside of this div. Then, I need to add before selector. Now, let's start giving properties to this selector. Firstly, I will add content, which is going to be empty string. Then, I will add background, which is going to be URL, and I already have the link that I need, so I will just paste it here. Now, I need to adjust size of my bullet points through width and height. And at the end, I will set display property of block so these bullet points can be visible. Now, when I hit save button, all of these styles will be applied and my bullet points will be created. I can now just switch to design panel and continue editing here. I will set flex property to this span to align everything and add small gap so there can be a space between texts and these bullet points. And at the end, I have final product. I have set bullet points to the span tags only by using pure CSS. To summarize things here, you can use custom CSS to modify your tags, to easily transfer styles between tags and classes, you can even import codes from Figma directly to your tag, or you can make advanced structures. I hope that you enjoyed in this video and learned something new. Until the next time, happy building!